Okay, today we looked at uh, Rumba Colombia. Rumba Colombia is uh, a variation of Rumba where dancers compete individually. The character of the dance is like an introverted, I'm on a, on a mission from God to show you how beautifully I dance. Uh, and it's a dance of showing off your chops, your skills, so you can do basically, your, your face also has to somehow be very arrogant. You have to be like, I'm above everybody, yeah? because I'm so good of a dancer. Yeah? Colombia is a very precise dance, it's like clockwork, but it shouldn't be robotic, because it needs to have variations in timing. It's not like tom, 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 but it's like tom, tom, pa, 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 pa. It has to be dynamic when it comes to timing. Today we looked at four or five different steps. The first step we did was the flamenco step. So the footwork for Colombia for the, for the walking is like when you, you put your foot like this, and then you push your heel down, thing, pa. Thing, pa. So this is the idea of how you walk. You need to straighten the right leg completely. Pa. Then you can do better styling with your arms. Today we did the flamenco styling on both sides. And the body styling is like leaning and inclination, the inclination to the back. And your, your, also your head is up and looking down. No, arrogantly. No, 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 no. It's like I will stomp all over you. It's like you're totally arrogant about this. No? So the way this looks is five, six, seven, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? This is one of the possible steps for introducing yourself to the dance group. The classic simple walk of Columbia Forwards is when you cross the you cross your legs. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? You're walking, you're making very small progress. Uh, you can you you're staying in place as much as you can. Yes, and we, 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 and also importantly with Colombia is like you're never like in a iguaguanco. It's always much more upright because you want to be above everybody. Uh, you're still dancing to the ground, but your mind there is, is floating above every everybody else. It's like you know, arrogant but still grounded. Uh, when you walk forward. We discussed the hands of Columbia, the arms, arm styling. So arms are like elbows are out, out, and forward, right? like a sailor a little bit. This is more or less fixed, so there's no movement to it, but this is more or less like a fixed frame of hands. So when you're walking, it's like, and one, two, three, four. That's the way you walk. Always when you go with the leg, the opposite elbow goes out. So it's really elbows going out and not in this direction. Ladies, we do everything exactly in the same way. There's not a feminine way of doing it. You we imitate need to do guys. It originally. Yeah. So the same position with fists. Yes. Okay? And to bring some flavor, like rhythmic flavor, we did a rhythmic variation. So after walking we did like one, two, three. And then we did a short five and six. Yeah? So we do a we grab our pants like okay. kick and Pose, and we should be like, like this in a line. Nice. So, body, hands, and this is the moment, moment where we hope somebody is taking a photo of us. Huh? So, kick and photo. Yes, and musically, this is like one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. We want to do it on the strong beat yeah, of music, and then we wait here, like, and one, and five. We do the aggressive move to the imaginary enemy, which is kind of attacking us. So we do the counter position, the preparation first, and then the, the, the aggressive move, which kind of says, I will smack you. The styling, this, or this, or this, those are possible stylings of hands. Right? But it's always important to, to make the, the move bigger by preparing yourself with a counter move first. Yeah? The variation here, instead of this, was when we play basketball. Yeah, because in Colombia you can bring things from everyday life to show that you're very skilled at something. So you can do like a sports move or something like this instead of like generic moves which are fight oriented. Yeah? And the last move from Colombia was the turning with the punta talon movement. So the idea is you're turning around your front end of the left foot by moving your heel back and the right foot is doing this all the time, and the hands and arms are helping in the same kind of movement that we had when walking. That's like pa, 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 pa. 
This is one of the times when you're a little bit perhaps inclined forward. You're not so, so upright, it's not like when it's more, it's more uh, inclined forward. And uh, you can do it as many times as you want. Yeah? So if we do the whole combination. Flamingo. Five, six, seven. Ba, 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 ba. Forward, we go. Pom, 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 tin, tin, ba, tiki, ba. Ba, 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 